the BBC pilot. What an unfortunate name. And if you've tried to keep up with it, what even more unfortunate circumstances. It feels like for years we've gotten different bits of information, rumored release dates, straight up misinformation. It's been kinda hard to keep up with. But what if I told you guys there was finally something legitimate out there about this pilot? You'd probably say I already know, but for those who don't, the actual model of James from this pilot has been leaked. Or I really wouldn't call it leaked, it's been revealed and actually has been for about a year now. It was recently found on Twitter, however, and this is where I found it, so credit where credit is due. But in a BBC magazine posted in February of 2021, we actually saw a picture of this James as well as the letters that Audrey sent to the BBC, complaining about the pilot itself. If you didn't know the entire thing was kind of troublesome, we can hear more about this in the text itself, which reads, This file documents the production of the ill-fated 1953 television version of Thomas the Tank Engine, broadcast live using Hornby train sets. A series of correspondence illustrates how initial enthusiasm turned to horror, as the broadcast failed disastrously, with derailing trains and frantically improvised narration. Highlights include baffled letters from the Reverend W. Audrey, author of the Thomas books, and an irate memo from the controller of programs calling the entire effort pathetic. Sadly, no recording of this program exists. But at least we have this hilarious file to bring the unfortunate debacle to life in our imaginations. So sadly from the source, there is no known recording. We'll likely never see the entire production. But you know what we do have? James. And that's plenty for me. So let's talk a bit more about this, James, since there's quite a bit of information out there that's kind of just inaccurate to the pilot as a whole and to this model. Let's first start with what this James is not. You've probably seen these O-Gage models floating around before. It's been said numerous times by numerous people that these are the 1953 pilot engines. This is incorrect, but they were made by the same person, that being P.R. Wickham, a model railway legend. And while I'm not sure if these models were made on commission or for a private collection, it is known that these models were O-Gage and the pilot used HO gauge models. So sadly that is not true, but they do look similar and that's because they were probably built in similar ways, not to mention with a similar style being made by the same person. I say PR Wickham is a model railway legend because, well he is. This may not surprise some of you, but the James model you're seeing here is made of balsa wood. And this man was notorious for being able to make any train out of balsa wood or cardboard. He published a book of model railways, or the book of model railways if you ask me. And this is detailed extensively in such. Here we can see how he made boilers and other parts of the engines with cardboard, as well as different cab parts or tender pieces. He was definitely a man who worked with what he had, and this James is pretty much a product of that. The entire thing isn't scratch built however. A lot of people think that James uses a duchess chassis. While Gordon and Henry probably did, James uses a backwards N2, which if you ask me, is smarter to do anyway. That probably saved him a lot of time. It's literally the same configuration, just flipped. It is however possible that the tender chassis was used from a duchess. This sadly can't be confirmed though. The body of the tender is likely balsa wood just like the body of James. But the chassis of such could have been sourced from any number of things, if not handmade. What I find a bit interesting is how they made the faces. You'd assume this would be normal clay, but it turns out it was something a bit more unique. These were made using plastone, a form of plastine which will harden an exposed air. And as we can see from the images, it used a normal type of Hornby coupling. The model itself was made referencing the Reginald Dalby illustrations. And while we can't be sure since the entire production is basically lost, I assume James was probably one of the better performing engines out of the lot. If they literally just used a N2 chassis flipped around, maybe with the motor flipped as well? I mean, at least in my head, that sounds like it'd make for a pretty good runner, especially when compared to other engines that likely were made from Butcher Duchess classes. Either way though, in the words of Plains models, the most James thing to James is to be the only surviving image from a story that he has no part in. And you know what? For that reason, I kind of love it a little bit more. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.